What up, Earthlings? Guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Marin, and welcome. So today's video is going to be part two about the believe portion of how to better manifest things with the ask, believe, achieve. And I'm also going to throw action in there. So it's going to be a four part video. This is number two. If you didn't catch my first one about how to ask the universe what you want, check that video out. And if you like these videos, don't forget to click that subscribe button down below so you can check out more of my videos in the future. And thank you all so much who have already subscribed. I love you so much and I appreciate it. So like I mentioned in my last video, if you have seen The Secret, you know how the main layout of it was ask, believe, achieve. I'm also going to talk about action because I think that's a very important step that was left out of that documentary. Um, but in this particular video, we're going to talk about how to believe in order to manifest what you want. So you can sit all day long and write stuff down and have vision boards of what you want to manifest, but if you don't believe it inside, it's not probably going to happen. My last thing that I talked about in my last video kind of leads into this about starting small. Ask the universe for small things, especially if you're new into learning about the law of attraction. You have years and years of subconscious programming that you have to barricade through in order to break that resistance. So start with small things, ask for small things, and when you start manifesting those, then you can build up and start dreaming big and asking for whatever it is that you want. If it's a billion dollars and a mansion in Fiji, I don't care, ask for it because you can create your reality and you can have anything that you want. So one main thing about believing what you want to happen is act as if it already did. You have to act the part to be the part. The universe doesn't give you what you want, it gives you what you are. So if you're vibrating at a certain frequency, that's what you're going to get. If your frequency is down here, that's what you're going to get. If your frequency is way up here, the universe is going to give you a frequency way up here. You get what I'm saying. So you have to believe in what you're trying to manifest. So, so act the part. It may seem silly, but you just have to do little things to really get into that feeling. So I watch a lot of spiritual people online, I've read a lot of books, and one of the examples that always sticks out in my mind is if you're trying to attract a partner, leave room for them in the bed. If you're setting the table for dinner, leave a spot for them. Do little things like that that really make it seem like they're already there in your life because that's going to help you manifest them faster and easier into your life. You have to act as if it already is in existence because then you're vibrating on that same frequency of when it will be into existence. But you have to believe that it's already happened. To get into that vibrational vortex of what it is that you want, you have to believe in the outcome. You really have to have trust and faith in the universe. Your higher self, your spirit guides, the universe, everything up above wants you to live a happy life and they have your back. So you really have to, like the quote says, leap and the net will appear. Just believe that if you stay true to your passions and you really are following what you love in your heart and doing things every day that make you happy and joyful, just believe that the universe will open doors for you and give you what you want because the universe wants us all to experience happiness and joy here and you just have to really have trust and faith in that. One thing that I like to tell people is to really clear and transmute all your old belief systems because for how many years before you were awakened to these truths you believed and thought a certain way but you have to really learn how to remove those blockages and create new belief systems and that can be easier said than done but with working on yourself every day you can get there and you will be manifesting things easier into your life so write in your manifestation journals every day and read them every day and look at your vision boards every day close your eyes meditate visualize the life that you want to be living and do that every day so that you're growing that muscle in your mind to really believe in what you're asking for and to really believe that it has already happened because it already has happened in another dimension, right? But to get it in this dimension right now in the physical, you need to believe that it already happened and that it already is true for you. And the more you really start believing in that, that's when the universe is going to start giving you what it is that you believe in because 
you're holding that same frequency and what you put out, you get in. You don't get what you want, you get what you are. So when you believe in yourself and you really have faith that it is all gonna work out for you and you sit back and watch it unfold and you relax, then it will start to happen. So a couple things that have helped me start believing in my dreams and some of the things that I like to do are listen to subliminal messages. Um, right now, I don't know if you can hear the music on in the background, but I'll show you. Like right now on my iPad, I have playing Law of Attraction Accelerator, Let Your Desires Flow to You, Subliminal Messages by Neural Beats. And there are tons of these out on YouTube, online. So what it is, is it's music that's playing or some sort of noise, sometimes it's ocean noises or crickets or whatever it is. And then hidden in that music or those sounds is little affirmations that repeat over and over and over. Let's see if this one tells me which, what it's saying. What your ears physically can't hear that this one in particular is saying. I believe everything happens for my highest good. My positive vibrational energy attracts more and more abundance. I allow myself to receive the wonderful gifts from the universe. I am always thankful for the gifts the universe is sending me. And there's a whole list of all the things that this is saying that our ears can't pick up, but our subconscious mind hears everything. That's why it's very important to be weary and pay attention to the music you're listening to to the TV shows you're watching, everything around you, your subconscious mind is picking up like a sponge. So I love to sleep with these on. There's thousands of them out there, pretty much for anything you can think of. I personally believe that this works. So I will sleep with these on. There's ones about attracting money, about attracting abundance, health, specific things from like changing your eye color to whatever it is that you want to do. Listen to these over and over and your subconscious mind is hearing all these affirmations and that's creating a new belief system. It bypasses the part of our brain that we can hear and it bypasses our conscious mind. So if our conscious mind were to hear these things, it would be like, eh, I don't really know, I don't really believe that to be true. This cuts through that and goes right into our subconscious and it's just repeating itself over and over and over and they make some of them specifically for when you sleep that are about seven hours long and I love to play these at night and I have had great success with these and if you're not familiar what binaural beats means look it up Google will be a better explanation than I will be but basically it's frequencies and Hertz that match like the love frequency the frequency of energy that the universe is giving off things like that there's thousands of them online but I'm a really big firm believer in subliminal messages. I think it's a great and easy way to train the mind. You can have these on in the background and still have other things on, your TV, music, whatever. You can be listening to it in the car because you don't have to be sitting and paying attention, but it's being pounded into your subconscious mind. And over time, you're really building belief systems. And I truly believe that they work I know that they work, I've seen results. So that's one tip I like to tell people is to check out subliminal messages and binaural beats and check it out, try it for yourself. I mean, what's it gonna hurt? It's just some nice meditation, relaxing music to play in the background that could potentially be changing your life. So try them out, look into it. I promise you won't be disappointed. So I think that's a great way to start to make new belief systems. Another thing that I always like to do to help me believe is asking my higher self and my spirit guides for little signs and synchronicities. And the more that I am connected to them, especially in these recent months when I've quit a lot of toxic behaviors, I feel so connected when I'm talking to them that I get signs and synchronicities almost immediately. And it's, it's so reassuring and it's such an amazing feeling. The things that happen are not coincidences. So say you're asking the universe, is this the right path I should be taking? And then you look at the clock and it's 11, 11, or it's one, two, three, like little things like that. So ask the universe and your higher self to really show you signs. And it's miraculous the little things that will start popping up, whether it be a song you hear on the radio, whether it's a certain time on the clock when you look at it. Maybe it's a random stranger that gives you a piece of information that totally is what you needed to hear. Your higher self in your spirit guides of the universe is always communicating with you, especially when you're asking to be guided. You just have to learn how to tune in and really listen and pick up on the signs because they're always guiding us 
helping us and leading us into things that are going to help us be our best versions of ourselves. So ask your higher self and your spirit guides to show you little synchronicities and signs and that's really going to help you start believing that this is all real as well. So really just make sure you go into that heart space and you're really believing. Believing that it's already happened. Live as if it's already happened. Start acting as if it's already happened. So act as if it's already happened. Don't worry about how it's going to happen. Just have faith and trust that it will. And also check out binaural beats, check out subliminal messages, and really start connecting and meditating and asking your higher guides for answers to your questions because they will answer you, they always do. And just really be tapped in on how to hear them and receive the answers because they do answer you, I promise you. And you just have to be willing and open-minded to see the signs and synchronicities because once you are tuned in, they happen like that and it's so amazing and they never cease to amaze me. I love getting signs and synchronicities from my higher self and my spirit guides. I just, the wow factor never gets old for me. It's so amazing. So start tuning in and really connecting with your higher self and you won't be disappointed. So I hope something in this video helped you guys. Stay tuned for my next part, which I think is the overlooked part in The Secret, which is about action. And thank you so much for watching. And to all my lovers out there, I send you love and light. And to all my haters out there, I send you extra love and light and many hugs. And I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out, Earthlings. Bye.